what's going on guys uh welcome back to another video um as you might already be able to tell this is going to be a different type of video today um not as much of a uh i guess happy and cheerful video just kind of a informational story time video i guess um so yeah i don't know how long this video is going to be or how this is going to work but uh, we're, we're just going to roll with it here. So, I'm going to start out by saying that I live in the Midwest of the United States, okay? Um, and so, basically, last night, long story short, there was a mile-wide rain-wrapped tornado that came just straight through like the whole kind of metro area where I live in um this is what I'm going to say because I don't want to give away my full location um I live in the Kansas City area um and there was this tornado that started about uh, I'll I'll try to get a map up here for you guys but um it started um it if anybody knows where Lone Star Lake is, um, I'll put a picture of that up for you there. Um, anyways, tornado touched down Lone Star Lake, which is, oh, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes away from where I live. Uh, and that is, you know, scary enough as it is. And to make things even worse, I'm working at McDonald's when all of this is happening. So, I was working in the back drive through window, taking money and taking orders from different customers. And um, this one customer pulls up. I already know there was a tornado watch. So, I mean, I guess, like, we had plenty of warning. Um, I had already known that there's a tornado watch. This guy pulled up to the window and he says, you guys better get ready. Or he didn't say that, but he was like, y'all, there's a tornado warning now. I'm like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah. So then I checked my phone, still didn't see anything yet. I'm like, well, okay, maybe another five to eight cars come by as I'm, you know, talking with my coworkers and starting to check the weather and stuff. Um, then I'm like, I believe I was handing a customer their money and receipt back. And that's when the tornado sirens start blaring. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> here we go. Um, so before this whole fiasco happened, uh, this was about at like, so I went on break at like 4, 4.50. Let's just say 4.50 p.m. Uh, and our breaks last a half hour. So I came back from break at 5.30, at, no, it was 5.20. Um, and I had had my break, um, in the crew room, which is downstairs, uh, because our entire, uh, lobby eating area is being torn up and renov renovated right now. So when I came up, I noticed that it was super dark outside, like darker than usual, like almost nighttime dark. Well, well, not nighttime dark, but you know, like the way it would be around sunset or if there's a super bad storm or something. Guess what? There was a super bad storm. So... I continued, I was just working in the back drive through window, back to a present time where we were, uh, so the tornado sirens go off, and then I start telling people, <laughs> start telling customers that they need to try to find shelter, and I'm talking with my manager, uh, my manager who was working the shift that night, or yesterday, and he said that, um, that I said, dude, we gotta go downstairs, like, this is the real deal here. And then he just keeps saying, not yet. So, I mean, he has to get everybody taken care of. Fortunately, we only had like 10 people working there last night too. Um, but anyways, about after 10 minutes of the sirens going off, we um, we go down into the, into the basement. We shut the store down, turn the gas off, all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, we're down in the basement. Uh, my manager still hasn't really even come down yet. And um, there were construction workers. They didn't want to come to the basement. They, like, they stayed out 
renovating the store and like working outside with wheelbarrows and stuff um they like eventually came down but then like they left i don't know i wasn't really paying attention to that i was juggling like all of this trying to watch see what this tornado is doing checking the weather and i mean it was it was kind of a scary situation but it, you know like it was just really weird i guess um because i was just sitting down there in that crew room just kind of hanging out with my coworkers, talking to my family because they were back here at home and um what basically ended up happening was the tornado like if the tornado started here and my face is where i live it just kind of like went like this if that makes any sense so if my face is the tornado or no if my face is where i live and this is the tornado it like just barely grazed the south end of it and then it continued to screw up more cities and stuff over there which really got a lot of bad stuff especially like eudora kansas and lundwood kansas i believe is what got the worst of it um i'm going to be showing you guys some pictures and stuff but thankfully what everyone here in lawrence is fine i think there are only a few injuries my family's fine house is fine works fine um but the funniest part is i still had my headset on when this was happening because i was supposed to you know tell customers to find safety and tell them we're closed during the tornado warning there were still customers driving up to mcdonald's to get food why <laughs> seriously like there is no point in getting mcdonald's in a tornado warning like i was just kind of like oh i'm sorry we can't serve you right now through <laughs> the tornado warning please find shelter and it, this one guy just came up and he was like are you open and i'm like no and then you know i had to tell him those things uh anyways yeah this this was a debacle for sure and then so we were probably down in the basement for about 45 minutes and then after the tornado had passed my city um or really you know like it went under my city uh we all came back upstairs uh, and we started everything back up and then like the drive through was just insanely busy i guess people really wanted mcdonald's that badly right after a tornado had come through our town um but sure enough i mean we served all the people everything's okay now um at least for me uh it's really sad for some people you know they lost their houses and uh, stuff like that but um this morning actually i went out to those areas which were affected like kind of at the south edge of my town um this is like kind of around it's kind of like on the highway kind of around ottawa kansas in that area so just kind of like southwest kansas city metro area um and i'm going to start playing all right y'all this is voice over isaac here coming at you look at this footage i have here of us driving on the highway this is driving um like outside of ottawa kansas kind of like the spring willow kansas area so kind of you know really out in the country here and as you can see as this progresses on and on um you can start seeing uh the damage so i might speed this clip up here and then uh, when it gets to the part where you can start okay so again i'm speeding it up here this is still just driving down the highway, I believe 59, I'm not exactly sure, but um, you're going to start seeing here uh, when the clips slow back down. You can see these houses look okay, um, but when we get to around here, um, coming up on the left, uh, you're going to see that some tornado damage here. Um, you can see right up here, that house looks okay, but then when you look over here, you can see that house is missing a roof. Trees are all torn up. Uh, so, you know, and then you can see here on this side, they're missing all their shingles and just bad stuff is going on here. You can see power guys out here trying to fix everything. 
that street sign was bent down. I was just trying to capture all of this as much as I could. Um, so just so you guys know, I was not driving you know, when I was capturing this. Um, and also, we weren't getting in the way of any of like the emergency crews or anything. They were just like power people out here working. Um, but you can see that the tornado like really, really had come through this area. And you'll see that even more so as we turn on to this next road up here. Uh, you will see a shot of this um, RV or camper and this kind of like makeshift uh, metal garage. And it's just like completely like crushed over the camper. Um, so you can see here those trees are all torn apart. That barn's, uh, it, it's not in that bad condition. You can see it's missing a little bit of its roof. Um, but see, yeah, there's that RV right there, just completely uh, turned over. And then look at that barn, all of this, all those trees, these houses, they're missing their roofs. Um, and you can just see debris is still everywhere, like just metal, trees down, um, all, all kinds of really, you know, bad stuff here. You can see all of these houses, they look like they just have flat tops and, well, that's because they have no tops. Look at that one. Look at that one. That one was missing their entire roof. Let me play that again. Okay, so again, here's this one super slow. You can see in a these people's kitchen. Look at that. They are totally missing that wall right there. Um, as you can see, this really slow. And then again, right here, you can like see straight into their house. There's that poor guy standing there trying to figure out what he's going to do with his house. Oh, man, <laughs> these poor people. Uh, you can see they're probably going to demo that wall. That's probably what that orange X means on that one. Um, all right, back to normal speed here. And, you know, it just keeps getting worse um, as this goes on. That one looks like it's completely flattened there. And this one looks okay. It's only missing some shingles. So that one didn't really get hit too bad. But it was mainly um, the homes on this side here. There's that barn. That barn looks okay, too. Um but really just some of these houses out here are in really poor condition after this tornado went through. Uh, so you can see here, not too bad out here. Um, the, there's that one. That one didn't really have much damage. Um, and then up here, you can see all the debris on the road as we go over this hill. Um, and there's these people on the motorcycle here. I'm going to speed the clip up again because this part... All right, so fast forwarding here, there wasn't much to see up this way. Um, so we're going to cut uh, to a different location on the way back from that first road. So you'll kind of be able to see on the other side. Uh, here we go as we slow back down. Uh, you'll be able to see there is a lot of tree destruction here. That house looks fine. Um, but as we keep going, um, you'll start to see more stuff. Um, more damage, ignore that beep. You guys know the drill of the beep. Um, but look at these trees, guys, in this kind of woodsy area. Um, ignore the reflection of my knee in the window. Uh, so that's just had to happen. Um, reflections work. Um, but anyways, as I just keep driving on here, this is going back the other way. There's trees all screwed up and there's not very many houses on this side here, but you can really see all of those trees, how they're pretty much just completely destroyed um, just from that uh, tornado that went through here. Um, there's stuff down in the road there, like trees on the road, more trees just completely ripped apart. There's that one house again. Ignore that too. That was my phone. Um you know, guys, this just looks absolutely terrible um, because a mile-wide rain-wrapped tornado went through this area. Uh, thankfully, nobody, there were no um, fatalities um, in this tornado. There is, like, I think one serious injury reported, and a few other people had to go to the hospital. Um, but other than that, most people are okay. And see, there's that camper with that thing on top of it. And I think that was a different one, actually. And yeah, guys, so look at that telephone pole there. Uh, this was really just kind of a mess. Uh, the other funny thing was after this, I went to um, a super target 
um, and the super target was just kind of right up the road here. And they had to um, throw away all of their um, refrigerated items because they had lost power for that long since last night or in last night. Um, and you can see all of them doing that here and just like the barren empty shelves. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll go back to my normal version or, you know, recording now and uh, that Isaac, not this Isaac. This is actually future Isaac and that's past Isaac because I recorded that before I'm recording this because I'm recording this in post right now. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah. So I'll I'll start that clip in three, two, now. one. And so, yeah, guys, um, all right, back to me again. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will be working on more content for you guys, um, this summer. Uh, hope all of you guys are okay from the tornado, because I know a lot of my, uh, subscribers live in this area. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.